He has joined the Sri Lanka Army as an office cadet in the year 1980 and had his basic training at the Officers Training School in Madras, India and at Sri Lanka Military Academy, the Athalava. He was commissioned into the 1st Reconnaissance Regiment, Sri Lanka Army Corps, as a second lieutenant on completion of his training. Since then, he held vital and important appointments in the Army, commensurate with each rank held, and he reached the pinnacle of his military career in the year 2016 when he was appointed as the Chief of Staff of the Sri Lanka Army. Major General Meninda Pirish is a graduate of National Defence College, New Delhi, Commandant South College, Bangladesh, Armour School, Fort Knox, Kentucky, United States of America. As a pioneer squadron commander of 4th Armour Regiment, he led tank squadrons to many crucial battles and he commanded the 5th Regiment of the Sri Lanka Armour Corps with distinction. He was also the commanding officer of the officer cadet team at Sri Lanka Military Academy. Subsequently, he commanded the 561 and 232 infantry brigades and later commanded the armored brigade. He was the director of operations at the Joint Operations Headquarters and had been appointed as a defense, military, naval, and air attache of Sri Lanka in the United States of America. Major General Melinda Pirish commanded the 22 Division in Trincomalee as a general officer commanding during the period of liberation of the East by security forces. On return from National Defence College in India, he was appointed as the Vice Chancellor of General Sir John Patala Living's University in the year 2008. And his patronage, the university expanded to be a fully fledged university consisting of nine academic faculties, and he was instrumental in developing KDU to lead in the world of tertiary education, lighting the torch of wisdom in thousands of students, both local and foreign. Further, he introduced the University Hospital Concept for Sri Lanka, providing a tertiary care hospital for KDU. During his service as the Vice Chancellor of KDU, he was contemporaneously appointed as Director General of the Centre for Research and Development, Minister of Defence, Military Secretary to the Army Headquarters, and Colonel Commandant of the Mechanized Infant Regiment and the Sri Lanka Armoured Corps. In recognition of his contributions for Sri Lanka's higher education sector, Major General Mirinda Piris was appointed as a committee member in the National Education Commission and in the University Grants Commission of Sri Lanka. He was a member of the Board of Management of Defence Service Command and South College. The Committee of Vice Chancellors and Directors, Sri Lanka, the Standing Committee on the Quality Assurance and Accreditation of the University Grant Commission. Major General Mirinda Piris holds a Master's of Philosophy degree awarded by the University of Madras, a postgraduate diploma in management from the Open University of Sri Lanka and a diploma in senior level defense management from the University of Indore, India. During his tour of duty, he was severely wounded in action in the operation Sajjaya III. He is a recipient of Rana Vikram Padakkama, Rana Shura Padakkama, Vishra Seva Ibushana Medal, and Uttama Seva Padakkama. He was awarded the Legion of Merit, which is a military decoration of the United States Armed Forces for exceptionally meritorious conduct in the performance of outstanding services and achievements. In the year 2014, Major Milinda Pires was conferred with the award for outstanding contribution to education by the World Chancellors and Vice Chancellors Congress in recognition of the strategic and iconic position occupied by him in the fraternity of Vice Chancellors as an agent of chance in global education. Further, he was conferred with the Education Leadership Award by the World Education Congress in the year 2015. He served as a member of the Advisory Council of the Institute of National Security Studies, Sri Lanka, and the Chief Commissioner of Sri Lanka Scout Association, and currently he is serving as the Vice Chancellor of General Sir John of the Lavalli Events University. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, now I respectfully invite Major General Milindu Pirish, the Vice Chancellor of General Sir John of the Lavalli Events University, we address the gathering. I would respectfully invite Colonel Pradeep Pratnayaka, the Dean, Faculty of Defense and Strategic Study, to accompany you. Her Excellency Malita Kapoor, High Commissioner of the Australian High Commission, Sri Lanka, Major Lal Munasekara, 
Rector Metropolitan Campus, Major General Robin Jayasurya, Rector Southern Campus, Major General Udaya Herat, Brigadier Chintaka Vikram Singha, Deputy Vice Chancellor of Defense and Administration, Professor Sanat Damika, Deputy Vice Chancellor of Academics, Mr. Trivan Anakkarage, Policy, Research and Information Officer, High Commission of Australia, Deans of Faculties and Directors of Centres, Colonel Aruna Karnaradna and the team from the Sri Lanka Military Academy, Senior Military Officers, Members of the Academia, Administrative Staff, all distinguished guests and my dear students, Officer Cadets and Day Scholars. Ladies and gentlemen, good morning. This third consecutive student research forum organized by the students of Intake 39 of the General Sergeant Kotala Defense University, Faculty of Defense and Strategic Studies, is taking place at a time Sri Lanka is desperately looking for a better tomorrow. I think the theme of this year's forum, Strategic Futures of an Emerging World Order, itself is a strategically designed theme to awaken the curiosity of the IR students community towards the concept of the emerging world order which suggests that the conventionally and traditionally accepted world order is dying down and novel and modern world order is merging. One that awaits the creative and collective contribution of today's youth to formulate a strategic landscape to face the new realities facing them in the future. In other words, to prepare the world for a paradigm shift. While being proud that the KDU Faculty of Defense and Strategic Studies took this initiative, I do feel that every university should embark on research on such themes to encourage the youth to think transforming our futures aligning with the changing global dynamics. Dear students, major discipline, strategic studies, is considered a security-oriented subdiscipline of the broad area of international relations, and no doubt, it's a crucial area of study today. But strategic studies without strategic foresight has no meaning, and it is through true engagements in research and deeper discussion that individuals, institutions and countries would discover such strategic foresight to place themselves in proper perspectives. When we design our futures, we need to give special attention to alternatives and strategic choices. In that respect, the present global context with all its disruptions provides you with very useful subject matter to study and understand the complexities in a global security environment emerging in the near future. As you are aware, everybody could be very vociferous about the thing that things can go wrong in the future. But it is your responsibility to choose the difficult path that is to fundamentally learn how we contribute to create the future right for everyone. When the Faculty of Defense and Strategic Studies started the Student Research Forum under the guidance of Dr. Haninder, my <coughs> advice was to set the platform for students to learn handling events with responsibility and also for them to be futuristic leaders with futuristic thinking. Today at this third forum, I am glad to hear that all aspects 
except some admin matters, are totally handled by students. This is a very good example of how we should create futures and also to groom them as future leaders. We need to empower the present, present to nurture the future and let it freely flourish on ground. The KD always tries its best to create friendly yet competitive arenas for students to learn and express their point of view, which is very important in a university environment. By organizing events such as this, students are exposed to event planning and building important networks that would lead to productive collaborations towards the better future. I'm sure this research forum will meaningfully contribute to, the, to that effort and it will enable our students to be networked with IR undergraduates representing friendly establishments nationally and internationally. Dear students, if we pay our attention to the current context about the world order, we can realize that the uncertainty is prevailing everywhere. Not only in Sri Lanka, everywhere in the world. Modern day researchers have devised elaborate acronyms such as VUCA and TUNA. VUCA means volatility, uncertainty, complexity and ambiguity. And TUNA denotes turbulent, uncertain, novel and ambiguous. So one can say that the present day world is more towards disorder than towards order. In this backdrop, getting aware about the strategic future will provide leaders in all sectors insights into forces of change that are reshaping the global environment rapidly. How can we formulate the policy and strategy in the face of uncertainty? Is the fundamental question that leaders must ask when they prepare their trades for future and in the midst of the catastrophes such as global pandemics. Answering this question has never been felt more urgent than today. Even before the COVID-19 crisis, rapid technological change, growing economic interdependence, and increasing political instability had made the future increasingly foggy. Whether we like it or not, this is the reality in which we are living today. And we need to be sharp enough to select appropriate strategic processes. We must train ourselves to quickly capture our environment through continuous scanning. And you must be very alert on the world order and what's going on. It is only then when we will find good analytical lenses to view trends in the international security. And when I say security, it is a very broad concept that includes energy resources, information, population, technology, governance, environment, education, etc. KDU Bachelor's Degree Program in Strategic Studies and International Relations is an attempt to produce intellectually potent and analytically sound individuals for the country and international community to contribute for formulating policies and strategies for the future. And we are glad to mention that the program has started enrolling its fifth batch this year. And the demand is growing and uh, this time also there is a huge number of applications have been received. It is the only degree program of this kind available in Sri Lanka. 
So you are very glad to be here as students of KDU to follow the one and only degree program in Sri Lanka. Let me of that field. Let me be clear about your expected future commitment. I want every student and staff member to genuinely contribute to the progress of this faculty and the motherland. The knowledge production, which is our mandate, should reach the beast level. The intellectual environment in a university is dominated by young minds who owns the future. And the youngsters will not hesitate to change their existing ideas. Dear students, strategic foresight and practice for which the militaries have spent years researching offers a very forward to you. Its aim is not to predict the future, but rather to make it possible to imagine multiple futures in creative ways that heighten our ability to sense, shape and adapt to what happens in the years ahead. Strategic foresight doesn't help us figure out what to think about the future. It helps us figure out how to think about it. I am thankful to Your Excellency Lalta Kapoor, Deputy High Commissioner of Australian High Commission, for being here with us to grace this occasion. And I am sure your keynote address will stimulate their minds about the subject matter. Your Excellency's presence here will certainly encourage our students to engage with the diplomatic community, which we encourage them to do as much as possible. Most of them, they want to be ambassadors, diplomats. Since our students learn international relations and strategic studies, they can positively contribute as interns for international events taking place in Sri Lanka. And given the opportunity, I am pretty sure that they will be doing their best to bring the pride to our pride and honor to KDU. Finally, I would like to congratulate the Dean of the Faculty, Colonel Padip Ratnayaka, for his able guidance. Director IA International Relations, Dr. Harindu Vidanage, for the timely initiation of Student Research Forum, and Head of Department, Dr. Sanat Di Silva, FDSS team, and students for operationalizing this event. I also congratulate the students who are presenting papers today and wish you all the best for a day full of joy and knowledge. Good luck to everyone. Thank you.